Today, students will do a narration exercise. This will come from the story, A Christmas Carol. I will read the story, and students have to write what they remember from the story. So we are introduced to Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge, and he's working at his office with his assistant, Bob, and his nephew, Fred, will come by. I'll begin. Once upon a time, of all the good days in the year, on Christmas Eve, old Scrooge sat busy in his office. It was a cold and foggy day. The door of Scrooge's office was open that he might keep his eye upon his clerk, who was in his small office copying letters. Scrooge had a very small fire, but the clerk's fire was so much smaller that it looked like one coal. But he couldn't make it bigger, for Scrooge kept the coal box in his own room. Therefore, the clerk put on his white jacket and tried to warm himself at the candle, which didn't work. A Merry Christmas, Uncle! God save you, said a cheerful voice. It was the voice of Scrooge's nephew that frightened Scrooge. Bah, said Scrooge. Humbug. Christmas a humbug, Uncle, said Scrooge's nephew. You don't mean that, I'm sure. I do, said Scrooge. Merry Christmas. What right have you to be merry? What reason have you to be merry? You're poor enough. Come then, returned the nephew. What right have you to be so angry? What reason have you to be upset? You're rich enough. Scrooge, having no better answer in the moment, said, Bah! And then he said, Humbug. So after the story, students can write something that they remember from the story. It can be about Mr. Scrooge. It can be about his nephew. It can also be describing how the day looked and what holiday it was as well. This week in science, we are studying the season of spring and the season of summer. So in the spring, we begin to have more sunlight and it begins to rain more. And this is important because the springtime is known as a time of growth where a lot of the plants began to grow back. And so the buds that were covering the plants, they began to open and flowers began to bloom. And so animals that were hibernating, they began to wake up and baby animals are born during this time, during this time as well. And birds that went south, they will now go back to their home and they begin to build their nests. And so right now we are currently in the springtime. We've been seeing a lot of warmer weather, a lot of sunshine. And if you go outside, you can see a lot of insects that have returned. Lizards are back. And so this is a beautiful season. Next season is summer. So in the summertime, the days are long and the nights are short. It is very hot, especially here in Louisiana, very hot in the summer. In the summer, a lot of plants began to grow, in particular fruits and vegetables began to grow. And those baby animals that were born in the spring, they also grow in the summertime as well. The summertime is also when we are off of school. We have summer break. That is also a beautiful time, a very relaxing time as well. This week in social studies, we went to the continent of Africa and we visited two countries, Kenya and Egypt. And so Kenya is a very beautiful country. The capital city of Kenya is Nairobi. There is a beautiful lake that we could see in Kenya called Lake Victoria. It's Africa's largest lake. Not just that, but we could also see Mount Kilimanjaro, which is the highest mountain in Africa. We could go on a safari in Kenya where we could see many kinds of animals in their habitat living freely, like antelope, elephants, giraffes, lions, crocodiles, and hippos. After we left Kenya, we went to the north, which was Egypt. And so in Egypt, one of the things that Egypt is known for are the pyramids. We could see those. We could also see the Great Sphinx, which is near the pyramids. This was built. It's a half it's a head of a man and the body of a lion and the Egyptians believe that he would guard the tombs if you remember the pyramids were built because they were there to bury the kings the kings are buried inside of there and also there is a canal called the Suez Canal that was dug that could sail ships could sail from the Mediterranean Sea to the Indian Ocean and just a fact about the Indian Ocean it's to the right if you look at the map it's actually to the right of Kenya and Egypt and it's actually the warmest ocean in the world. So that's Kenya and Egypt.